Uh, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're doing a little something to the C7. A little maintenance on it right now. Yes, sir. Uh, for my last video, I told you guys I was gonna do the cooks heavy. And uh, I got them on already. Uh, I'm just kinda wrapping it up now. Um, I'm gonna do a quick oil change on it. Uh, Tighten the, you know, make sure everything's to spec or whatever, the torque. And, um, Can't forget about this right here too. I got the intake in already. Got the Hall Tech. Yeah, take both for the sides C7. are done. All the bottom is done. Right there. I guess we'll show them the, the bottom later. Show them the Yeah. The they all got them all tight right there as well. Right How'd the there. install go? Uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I'll walk you guys through it, kind of what I did. That way you guys, if you guys decide to do it at home or whatever, you want to know how to do it. Um, I'll show you guys. And I did it in my garage. A lot of people do, almost, do it in, uh, on their lips and stuff. Yeah, but, uh, but they even got... You know, they got the hot spokes and everything for the C7. Yeah, so. So. so it's doable. All right. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown how I did the, the headers. First things first, remove the fuse box. Um, disconnect this from the fuse box. It's just um, 10 millimeter or something like that. Um, after that, I took out the spark plug wires. Um, not too hard, just be careful you don't you know mess up the wires or anything. Um, after that, I just kind of loosen up the bolts there. Uh, just to have them, you know, already loosened up, and then uh, I guess next thing, next thing was uh, loosening up this brace so I can get it out the way, and also removing these lines up here. Uh, oil will fall out uh, out of them, so I have an oil pan ready. Um, after that, uh, you're gonna have to remove the downpipe piece from the header. So the downpipe piece from the header. Just to give y'all an idea, look how restrictive that stock header is. Oh yeah, for sure, look at that. Pretty damn skinny. So it's a big upgrade. Um, every bolt was pretty easy to get to. They're pretty tight, so make sure you spray some WD-40 before you start, you know, going at it. But uh, the only hard bolt was this one right here. Uh, it's just hard because you gotta, it's kind of hard to get to it. Um, there's a special tool for it. I'll, I'll post a picture on here. But uh, I was able to do it without it, so. I don't even know how I did it, but <laughs> I got it. And then after that, it's pretty simple. You just kind of leave that thing down, and the header's pretty easy Stock to header just, right there. Yeah, look, the, check that out. That is. I didn't even show them that. Show them the, the, the head, I guess. Look at that. The flange on there. I don't know. What, what do you think that is? An inch? An inch and a half or something? It's too damn small for a vet. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah that, is, that is true. But yeah, she's looking all pretty right now. Um, That's pretty much it. The driver's side is i think easier um i did not have to move the, the what is it called the steering rack i also forgot to tell you i removed the the starter shield make sure you put it back after you put the headers um make sure you also get the o2 sensors wired up and stuff with i don't know with clamps or whatever you want to use um on the passenger side pretty easy as well uh easier than the driver's side i think um it just kind of slid in and the other headers came out pretty easy and after that you just obviously want to use a, your clamps that you get with your headers the swivels and uh, all the seat clamps uh, so another tip I'm gonna give you guys is um, don't tighten it all the way because uh, you will have to kind of move stuff around uh, once you get the X pipe on so just make sure it's kind of loose and stuff make sure you don't tighten all the clamps all the way because it will be almost impossible if it's all tightened up so a uh, little tip that I have to kind of deal with, but uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you will need to do an oil change because the lines over there. So we'll get to that right now. All right. So what's the deal with this oil right here, Fidel? I'm uh, curious, man, because I never heard about driven. I'm not, you know, familiar with the C7 world and all that, the whole Corvette scene. So yeah, no. So this what's right up here is supposedly the the juice for all LT motors. Um, I've heard good things about it. I'm not. I don't know all the freaking science to it or whatever, but um, everybody recommends it. I read on Facebook forums, and I have friends that have Corvettes that run this, and absolutely love it. But supposedly, it's for uh, the direct fuel injection more engines, which this is what it is, and uh, it's shown on the website. It's shown that it helps, you know, with all the the wear and tear that these parts take and stuff. So. This is supposed to be good stuff, huh? Yeah, so this is, it's kind of pricey, I'm not gonna lie. I, I mean, I'm gonna test it out. I'll let you guys know, like, later on how, what I, how I feel about it, if I 
you know, if I'm keep using it, but for now, I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna test it out and see what happens. All right, we're about to wrap it up. Um, like I said, I need to do oil change because we removed, we removed these two lines. And, um, but it's pretty easy, just two bolts. So there's a bolt here, a bolt here. So, I mean, obviously do one at a time. And, uh, it's a 15, I believe. And then once it's all drained out, um, remove your filter that goes here. Pretty simple. And uh, after this, we should be really close to just starting the car. Alright, uh, just in case anybody's wondering um, how much it could cost or how, how much it takes, it takes like 9.8 quarts or something like that. And uh, I bought the kit, so it was 139 and it comes with a filter and everything. It's pretty pricey. I mean, it's 10 quarts and then this oil itself is pretty pricey. I think like 15 bucks a quart or something like that. But uh, like I said, I, I heard it's worth it. I heard it takes your motor, so. Look at that drip. God damn. Sheesh, man. Alright, here we go. This is the cook setter. Two inch setter with a three inch, uh, three inch X pipe. Uh, I think it's gonna start off on tour mode. I wasn't able to put it on track, so it may not be that loud, but I'll switch it off right away. So here it goes, man. Louder than I thought, too. <laughs> oh my god, I think that's horrible. Alright, we're gonna go to the next one. Alright, we're gonna go to Eco mode. So that's quiet mode. That's quiet mode? Yeah. You, 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 you got a little quieter, you can tell. Alright. So it's smoking because it's, you know, it's a new. <laughs> no trick engine light? Uh -huh. Oh shit, okay. First test drive around the block. How we feeling? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I'm just kind of taking it in right now. So far so good though. So it's on, it's on tour mode right now. We're in my apartment. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we're going on this first cruise right now. We're filling everything out. So, uh, you know, we should check the oil. We just uh, pump gas and everything. Uh, we're just gonna do a little quick cruise just to see how the car is feeling, and, uh, how it sounds. So, just, I guess enjoy. See, see what you think.
God damn. That's loud. Cousin? That's loud.